Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some interesting marks sent by multiple EA executives during the Q4 2022 EA earnings call regarding Battlefield 2042, the game's future, the game's new leadership, and a lot of other things. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. As well as drop my Twitch channel a follow. I stream every single day at twitch.tv slash enders. Would love to see some of you guys come through there. So, as far as what the guys at EA had to say about this game, during the call, someone by the name of Mario Liu, a Barclays analyst, asked, Great, and then just one on Battlefield. I'm curious if there's any updates on that franchise. I know you guys previously mentioned you're willing to kind of invest more into the future in the long term, but has that mindset changed in the past few weeks given the lack of resurgence from the latest update? And I just kind of find that last part a little funny, because even the guys in the investment calls are like, yeah, uh, the game's still dead, so what are you guys doing? And the CEO of EA, Andrew Wilson, had this in response to that question. Quote, we've got incredible leadership over that team now. They're rethinking the development process from the ground up and really using the kind of Vince Zampella slash respawn model of get to the fun as quickly as possible. They've been doing thousands of updates for the community working on quality of life and really getting the core game right. I think there's still more, more work for us to do, and the team is committed to doing that work for the community. End quote. So, first of all, I just want to kind of go over that quote by saying that is, like, the most bullshit thing I've ever fucking heard in my entire life. First of all, you probably should have made sure the leadership uh, regarding the Battlefield 2042 development was in a very good place beforehand considering the state the franchise was left in after Battlefield 5. And I can't believe this guy actually utters the words, they're rethinking the development process from the ground up and really using kind of the Vince Sempella respawn model to get to the fun as quickly as possible. They've been doing thousands of updates for the community working on quality of life and really getting the core game right. I actually can't believe he uttered those words with, I assume, a straight face, because... There is no way that this guy actually believes that they're going to fix the core of Battlefield 2042. There are so many fundamental and unfixable design flaws with Battlefield 2042. I would literally have to make a massive video going over all of them. And by the way, I am going to make a massive video going over the entirety of Battlefield 2042 as my final review of the game. I have been receiving some comments recently. Um, actually... People are hyped for it. They're like, oh yeah, that's really cool, Enders. Let's go. I have to unfortunately inform you guys that that video is not going to come out anytime soon. I plan on making that video the best video I ever upload on my channel because I think Battlefield 2042 is such a terrible game fundamentally that it cannot be allowed to exist without me releasing one of the most comprehensive critical reviews of a game ever produced. Basically, remember that gif of Jesse from Breaking Bad where he's crying and shit and he's going, Oh, they can't keep getting away with this! That's literally me when I'm making this Battlefield 2042 review. Now, I will preface that, once again, I always maintain that I hope I am wrong. I hope Vince Zampella and wh whoever else is controlling the game now uh, actually proves everyone wrong, produces some decent content, and gets some people uh, interested in the game again. But, once again, in my opinion, there is nothing they can do because, number one, they drove a ton of people away. Number two, there are fundamental design issues that people literally are just never coming to the game again for. You know, again, specialists are in the game, right? Developers have come out specifically saying that they will never remove specialists. And for a lot of people, unfortunately, uh, they will not play the game because of that. But EA in the same investment call maintains that Battlefield 2042 and uh, the franchise as a whole will continue to grow and be an important part of their portfolio moving forward. So, we'll have to see what they do. Um, my guess is they'll do nothing, just like they always do, and the game will continue to spiral downwards until basically it is forgotten for years to come, and they'll cancel the content. Uh, remember, they're legally bound to do, I believe, four battle passes or something, but they will have to release some content for this game, but I think people shouldn't expect anything past that uh, required content. I think they'll cut content for the game pretty much immediately after that, and uh, it'll just be history like Battlefield 5 was. I think the likelihood that they cut the game's content is far higher than the likelihood of them continuing content. So we'll just have to wait and see. But that might depend on the success of the content that they release. Uh, but again, I don't think that they're going to pull anything out of their hat. They haven't really even given a release date for Season 1 yet. And we're probably like a month away from it at earliest, if I had to guess. Uh, they said early summer, which probably means December. 
but we'll, we'll see. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about what they had to say in the EA earnings call, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.